Organize a warrant Igbo leaders against apologizing to Fulani leadership over the 1999 coup d'etat. According to a report from Daily Post, the Pan Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Organizing Igbo, has issued a warning to a certain Igbo leaders against apologizing to the Fulani leadership regarding the 1999 coup. This warning was converged in a statement by the Secretary General of the organization, Mazi Ukecheku Isiaguzoro. Organizing Igbo emphasized that such actions by the Igbo elders would undermine the integrity and values of the Igbo man, or the Igbo nation, I meant to say. Isiaguzoro further emphasized the importance of preserving Igbo culture, Igbo traditions, and identity. He stressed the need for Igbos to uphold their heritage and maintain their dignity. Some part of the statement read, Organizing the Igbo, the Reverend Apis Igbo Social Cultural Organization, has set its own compromising stance against potential actions by misguided Igbo elders seeking to extend apologies to the Fulani leadership concerning the historically significant 1999 coup. In a resolute and unyielding declaration, organizing Igbo condemns any attempt by hearing Igbo headers to undermine the integrity, the, the virtue and pride that the Igbo community holds dear. Organizing Igbo clarified that any public apology made on the behalf of the Igbos without the proper author authorization from Imobi and the organization, <coughs> please pardon me, <coughs> in the Igbo General Assembly, as well as the endorsement of the of over 60 million global Igbo population will not be accepted. Organizer went on and stated it clearly that they, Organizer Ndigo, must not be compromised by clandestine maneuvers aimed at, at advancing personal political ambitions. The group went on and noted that they are vigilant and will resist the plan of the Igbo elders. Oh, so what is going on? That 1999 is your go led coup that killed mostly northern uh, leaders and military officers. The average of that coup that occurred six months later plotted by northern pro charters military Okay, I mean, okay, they are, I believe want to say it pro tetorate. All right, this is someone's uh, a reaction. He said military officers killed. Hmm? They killed many military officers of Igbo origin and civilians living in the northern uh, region. The equation is already balanced, so let us forget about it and move forward. Hmm. Uh, now, so, South, South, Southeast Igbos are not Igbos, okay, anymore, okay? We have heard these are reaction. I can't really get that. Okay, uh, my people, organizing Igbo have said that um, any Igbo elders trying to apologize to Fulani leadership concerning the, the 1966 coup, you know, that that person is on their own. They are not aware. Not be then send them. You get. So, neither they try to talk. And they say any Igbo man or any Igbo elder that tries such a thing that you are on your own because you are trying to reduce yourself and all that. Well, that one is... Um, by the wayside. In another news headline, uh, Abdulaziz Suleiman, 
the spokesperson for the Northern Elders Forum, has dived into the historical origins of kidnapping in Nigeria, responding to accusations from Oganese and Igbo social cultural organization about recent kidnappings in the country's northern region. Suleiman urged, argued that kidnapping is not a new issue and was not origi origi originally from the north, but was brought in from the south. He mentioned that this problem predates the current administration under President Bola Tinubu, who has been in office for less than a year. Suleiman further uh, pointed out the long-standing prevalence of kidnappings in the nation over the last decades, uh, highlighting that more than 1,000 children have been victims during this period. He criticized Oganese for trying to tie the recent abduction of 137 children in Karuga to supposed Northern schemes aimed at discrediting President Tinubu. He dismissed such allegations as lacking in logical and wisdom. In an interview with the son, Adul Aziz Suleiman said, Kidnapping did not start from the north, but it was exported from the south. It did not start from the uh, regime of President Tinubu, whose regime is less than one year old. It has been reported that over 1,000 children have been kidnapped in the last 10 years. And so, why organizes attempt to link the recent kidnap of 137 children in Kagura to Northern plans to discredit President Bola Tinubu may be understood. It is not acceptable for lack of sense and wisdom. <laughs> he said kidnapping was exported from men. Uh, <laughs> exported from the south to the north and now they they, they not they don't take they don't carry a forehead <laughs> i'm dropping it here guys kindly drop your comments below the comment section if you're just joining us please subscribe